Because I may wake up in the morning and the devil already know that you're waking up and you're going to be in a good peace of mind and the devil sends something your way to throw you off your square because he knows he wants to start your day off. <laughs> he wants to start your day off messed, messed up. Amen. Some of my young people always say, wake up angry. How do you wake up angry? How do you wake up like that? What, what's going on that you're angry all the time? Or you're upset? Or something is going on in you all the time? Don't you know the devil is working on your mind at night while you sleep? Waiting on you to get up Amen. in the morning? He said, man, I you know, want to have a good day. I, 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 something comes in your path. I got blindsided last week doing what I was doing and going along with life. Amen. And my mother died. Right. Hmm? My mother died. My mother died. Do you think that that got me off? Do you, do you think that kind of threw me off the track? My mother died. I'm, I might have got a little off, even though we didn't have that great of a relationship, good connection. She still brought me into the world. She was my mother. So mothers dying, you know, things happening, or other eventualities in your life, they come in, and the devil uses that as a tool to get you off your square, to move you further away from the holy place. Amen. <laughs> you start forgetting, because mama's dead, I'm not going to remember that God is still in control. Amen. God is still in control. No matter if mom is dead and gone, God is still in, in control. control. No matter what's happening with sister, with brother, with on my job, at school, God is still in, in control. control. Amen. And I got to remember and stay in that holy place. What does the second verse say? Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. Do not conform. Isn't that what I just said? Don't conform anymore. Continue, Hannah. Uh, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's about what's in here. Amen. Renew your mind. Right. Amen. It's about what's in here. I already see Equal House blowing up. Amen. I already see Experience Church growing. Amen. I already Amen. see myself in a better position on Amen. my job. I already see myself winning job. The job is coming. Amen. The finances are coming. I see myself with a husband. He's coming. I see myself with a wife. She's coming. Amen. I see myself with better. It's coming. I see myself with my own record label. I see myself producing. I see it. I know it's coming. So I'm going to speak it. I'm going to say it first. I see myself here. I feel myself. I already know. So in my mind. And the devil tries to get to your mind and take it out of your head. No, you're not going to. Don't Amen. you see? Don't, don't you see? Haven't you seen the statistics? Amen. Don't you know the statistics? Look at the statistics. It says that because you were born like this, because your skin color is like this, because you grew up in a family like this, because you come from Inglewood, because you come from Austin, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna be able to do. And I'm here to tell you today that the devil is a liar. Amen. It doesn't matter what your mama did. It doesn't matter what your daddy did. It doesn't matter how life is around you right now. Take yourself back to the holy place. Get your mind right. Speak to yourself. It doesn't matter what everybody else is saying to you. Block that out. What is that you're saying? What is God saying to you? And it's going into your mind. And you're speaking into yourself. Amen. I declare and decree right now that you are successful. Amen. You're already, not that you will be, that you are successful. That the job is already there. You just got to... Step into it. <laughs> the relationship that you're longing for is already there. You just got to step into it. 
present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Christ. Amen. Do not conform to this world. This world is not your home. I am but a pilgrim and a stranger. I'm walking through this world. I don't condemn this world, Amen. but I'm walking through. This world can't change me. I'm a game changer. The game don't change me. I change the game. That's why I'm in McDonald's. Amen. What other preacher you know? In McDonald's. What other church you know? In McDonald's. Who else is out doing it? No, the games don't change me. I'm changing the game. You're changing the game. Game changes. So that's the end of my little speech. Amen. Amen. You have to. Amen. Change the game. Change the game. Don't let the game change you. Romans 12. Read the rest of the chapter for yourself at your leisure time. And remember, remember, you don't know my story. All the things that I've been through. You can't feel my pain. What I had to go through to get here. You'll never understand my praise. Don't try to figure it out Because my worship, my worship is for real Amen? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. That's it. I'm ready to eat McDonald's and meet the Lord and the Amen. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay, yes, I don't know if y'all already ate and whatever. I guess I need to announce also that I'm still gonna come here on Tuesday, not this Tuesday, because um, I've got something else planned that evening, but I'm gonna be here on Tuesday nights. And I'm going to keep doing Bible study. Now, it'll be open to all you guys to come if you want to. Yeah, I'm going to come. Um, the Lord is still convicting me to do Bible study here. But he's saying even if the ambassadors are not here, to start having Bible study with whosoever will. Come to be here because what we want to do is to start to bless and to grow out in the Inglewood and those that want to. So I guess I'm saying like Jesus, I'm going fishing. I'd like to have you with me. Amen. But Amen. I gotta start casting the net. And that's that's my conviction. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Start casting the net. So my wife is in back. I don't know what happened. For the directors, I guess we can go ahead and meet and whatever you guys want to do, um, you can do. But the uh, BOD. Well, my wife isn't here. My wife isn't here, so um, I can't. She just pulled in. She did. That's Jesus. She heard you talking. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Karen, give me something. Give me something to eat. I really. That's the Lord.